intentionally fucked this war. Like, yeah, it's not a call. He's no, he went into that line. So yeah, that's what he did. My first CCO trade in show. But he's there every day, you know. So he clips, you know. Commitment is insane. Huh? It's insane commitment. But he's on everything. I don't know, why is he not just stop trading and just retire? And he could, but you know what? He likes the game. He fucks his mental. I, I pitched him a uh, bitcoin. Really? Yeah, he wants. He wants me to send him a one page. Oh, really? <laughs> no way. Yeah. I I was like, <laughs> I was like, who, who, do, who do I know that has like a hundred thousand dollars? I was like, well, recently you know, had a deal. You know Ken works. Yeah. Well, yeah. But Ken, Ken told me he's a he's a buy high. I'm, I'm a buy high. Person. I'm a buy high solo type of guy. So, so he he doesn't like. It. So he was like, yeah. Imperium guys that I invest in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Send them that. I'll send them that. All, like, it, all it's going to take is somebody who really wants to, and they can buy all of the access to Northern Alberta's flare gas, and they will be a billionaire in two years. I'm not kidding. Oh, there, there's so much potential because there's so much waste and inefficiency, and it's all rednecks to, like doing Copenhagen and fucking doing like literally like manual, like casual. I'm not even kidding. Like, these are the guys I grew up with, and I'm like, we fight at hockey games and shit like that. There's so much effort here. And the Canadian oil and gas world is not going to invest anymore in oil and gas because the government hates them. Right. So they're going to take it to the cycle and they're going to just take everything they can out of it. And then we're going to have a whole bunch of stranded assets. And the people who know who and where these plays are and can put miners there are going to literally have free energy for like a long time. It's so, such a nice model. So, so they they bet on money first, but I get as many at bats as possible. He's huge. So for Christmas, in, in, in his brewery did something called the Dirty Hipster, which is a play on PBRs. Right. And he, he brought it to me as a uh, But it's not, I wouldn't say it's popular, but it's popular in right. like guys who like garbage, right? right. And uh, he brings me 24 Dirty Hipsters for Christmas. It's like, you know, this is the most thing. You know, he knows I hate it. Right, it was right. just a, such a dig, but they was like a customer on it and he just smashed me into that. It was just such a good gesture. Yeah. Yeah. If you ever come to Calgary, oh. you know, 